Hi, I'm Streaky. This is Metropolis Mastering. Today I'm going to tell you why I love Lander. Now, you may have seen Lander or you may have used Lander. It's, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's basically some algorithms that have been made up online so that you can um, have your music mastered. You upload a track and within 10 seconds it's analysed it, decided what it's going to do to it, pumped it out the other end and you have a louder track um, and up to you whether you think that sounds good or not. Now, obviously I'm going to say that I don't like it for obvious reasons, but I actually do like it because I think I see it as a kind of gateway drug for people who don't know about mastering and don't know what it is. People are going to go there for the first time and think, oh, I don't know how much it is, it's quite cheap, but they'll throw their tune in it. It will sound louder, so they sort of get the vibe of mastering, but they don't actually hear what mastering can do. But what they'll do is they'll keep doing it, and then they'll start playing and start looking into mastering a bit more, which they might not have done previously, or they might have tried to do it themselves previously, and it hasn't worked. So what they'll do is look into what makes mastering sound the way it does. Why do we use certain equipment? Why do... Um, why do we tweak things in a certain way? There's, you know, that's things that you can't get from a preset or from a bit of software that's just going to, you know, kind of analyze it. Now, of course, they're going to say it does, but I don't understand how it can because a lot of the times I'm trying to do nothing to a track and just turn it up. Now, there's no way that you could know to do that. You're always going to, if you're a bit of software, you're always going to want to tweak something. And I'm adding warmth analog stuff you know it's like on a totally different level so i think it's great that it brings people into mastering gets them to know about mastering and understand what it's all about and and what it is because it's always been such a dark art um for dark art for some reason um that people it's been kind of mysterious well there's no need for it to be mysterious it's just a process and it's just the final process that needs a lot more attention than it was maybe given in the past so um, really, that's what I think about things like Ozone and Lander and stuff. It's like, it's okay, it sort of gets you somewhere. If, you're, if you need to throw a mix at someone and you just need it louder, throw it through that, gets it louder. But really, I don't know, if it was my music, I wouldn't really want to do that because you spent so long doing it and then you're just going to smash it at the end in the hope that it will sound better and a bit louder for somebody who obviously doesn't know what they're talking about if they listen to it and think it sounds good. So for me, it just sort of ruins the point, but it does get you to a place and it's and it sort of also makes you think, well, that's what I did. Now I'll give it to a professional mastering engineer, see what they can do. And, um, and, and then you'll notice the difference and you'll see what the difference is and then you'll appreciate it more. So it's kind of like a gateway drug. It's brought you into mastering and, and then it's, it you know, takes you to the place you need to go to find out what's good and what's bad mastering. I hope that's kind of helps. Um, please leave any comments or questions in the bottom. Please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.